Hello and welcome to this video on enolates. My name is Eri Kim and in this video we'll be predicting the products of a microreaction, which is a type of nucleophilic addition reaction involving an enol and an unsaturated carbonyl. As discussed in previous lessons, enols are reactive intermediate that are characterized by an alkene and an alcohol. They are formed by extracting a proton from a carbonyl containing compound using a strong base allowing for the reduction of the carbonyl to form an alcohol and an alkene. Normally, we'd consider the carbonyl carbon in aldehydes and ketones to be an electrophile, but the enol formation allows for the formation of an enolate carb anion, which is a great nucleophile. Michael additions are a very specific subtype of nucleophilic addition reactions, where the enol, which is what we term the Michael donor, will attack a compound that has a carbonyl with an alkene at the alpha and beta position with respect to the carbonyl. The general mechanism of action is that the nucleophilic carbon in the enolate will attack the beta carbon on the second molecule. Why? Let's use every organic chemist's favorite answer, resonance. We have a conjugated system here, and alternating pi electrons allow for the formation of a positive charge on the beta carbon which is why this carbon, the beta carbon, is called the electrophile. The electrophile in the second molecule is called the Michael acceptor. The result is a nucleophilic addition of the Michael donor and acceptor together, and a final acid workup step results in the formation of the second carbonyl. All Michael products have a very specific spacing between the two carbonyls. The two need to be one, two, three, four, five carbons apart. Let's use the information in this review to predict a Michael addition reaction. First, we need to form our enol by base extraction of the alpha hydrogen or the hydrogen next to the carbonyl. This produces the Michael donor enol with a nucleophilic carbon. In step two, we have the nucleophilic carbon attack the beta carbon of the Michael acceptor, which is probe two in to all and which we know through resonance will have the electrophilic carbon on the beta position. The Michael donor and acceptor add together to make this intermediate, and acid workup will cause the reformation of the carbonyl. Let's double check to make sure everything is accounted for. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons in the Michael donor, and one, two, three, four, five carbons in the Michael acceptor, means that we should have 10 carbons in the product. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Additionally, two carbonyls should be five carbons away. So from one, two, three, four, and since this is a symmetrical carbonyl, uh, we can pick either one. So we definitely have two carbonyls, five away. Remember the triggers for a Michael addition. Look for an aldehyde or ketone treated with a strong base then a second molecule that very specifically has an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl. With practice, you'll be able to spot these efficient nucleophilic addition microreactions. 